You're watching Explore Tulsa. This particular event has a history. The Night of Wine and Roses, as it was formerly called, um, was a long-standing classic event that a lot of people around town will still remember. Um, it did go away in 2016 um, and came back last year for the first time rebranded as the Tasting at Woodward Park. Um, the reason that it stopped being called a Night of Wine and Roses was because the rose rosette disease infected the rose roses on the tiers in the garden. Um, but again, since then, researchers have come out and um, worked really diligently to define what's going on there and to replenish the flowers that are there. And it is a tremendous turnaround from the past couple years. There is just a vast difference from when it, where it was in 2015 to where it is today. And that is all due to the hard work and intentional efforts put forth by volunteers, um, researchers, and the folks here at the mansion in Woodward Park. This mansion and Tulsa Historical Society, two brothers built them, ran out of money, and even laid the cobblestone driveway by hand. So there's just a lot of personal touches to each of our spaces, and we're very fortunate to be here. So now we've, we've been home to only three families ever, and then City of Tulsa has had this building since the 50s. So it's really neat that it truly has been a home. And that is why we have started to, re to refer to it as the mansion at Woodward Park. Um, rather than just Tulsa Garden Center because we really want this to be a space where people can come and enjoy. And in previous years we've had Tulsa Garden Center, well, I, I don't know anything about gardening. I, I wouldn't know that I would be welcome there. So we really are truly trying to encompass the entirety of the park as one entity so everyone can feel at home here. Woodward Park is a treasure just because we've been coming here for years and years as a personal um, with my family. Um, so we enjoy picnics and parties and things like that, but also the mansion at Woodward Park, as I mentioned before, I'm an event planner, so I've seen this space in the park um, host several beautiful occasions, um, weddings and parties and things like that. So I've seen it in a lot of different lights from a lot of different perspectives, and it's just a joy for everybody that comes here. So to keep that um, historical mansion um, relevant in a celebratory manner is just really important for me. We have 40 vendors that will be here, a mixture between uh, local restaurants and wine suppliers. Um, Warren Liquors has helped secure a lot of different wine suppliers that are going to come and show and talk about um, their passion of wines. Um, and also we are going to have a beer garden for the first time, so we'll have a selection of local breweries, which as most Tulsans know is exploding here, which is great, so we're going to have a lot of those for sample as well. Um, and then uh, we'll also have a confections tent by All Things Cake, so lots of sweet treats and then of course a place to learn about the garden center and Woodward Park so we'll have an info tent so where you can learn about where the dollars from this particular fundraising event and all of our other fundraising events like Spring Fest and the like. So our two biggest ones that we have are Spring Fest and the Tasting at Woodward Park and Spring Fest is definitely geared more learning about your garden and how to maintain your garden and kind of getting that knowledge of how to create a beautiful space like this in your space and we also have done a couple of different dinners called garden time and that's been a new thing for us the the last couple of years but definitely our two big fundraisers are the tasting and spring fest so we try to appeal to to a variety of of guests last year was actually my first time to attend the event. I didn't have a hand in planning it at all, and I had so much fun. It's such a glorious time to spend in a beautiful park, a treasure of Tulsa. Everybody knows about the Woodward Park Rose Garden, um, so to enjoy cocktails and um, yummy, delicious bites from all kinds of restaurants around town, fireworks and really fun things like that. Just a little bit of an elegant affair outside, but still casual enough um, for anybody to feel welcome um, was an event that I knew I wanted to get my hands on. The event is September 28th from 7 to 9.30. We'll kick off with past rosé and we'll end the night with fireworks. So can't get much better than that. 